Hey everyone, welcome to Tarot Mystic 1111. This is going to be an energy update <clears throat> for all those of you who are in love connections, spiritual love connection, twin flames, soulmates, um, thinking about your special person, your crush. Let's see what's on their mind their current thoughts and feelings for you we're going to pull out some <clears throat> love oracle messages and then we're going to move on to the tower what's currently going on what are your person's current thoughts and feelings for you all right let's see such a beautiful card right all right we we'll see um playfulness laughter is the best therapy have some fun together and remember love is the greatest healer all right so this message tells me that for some of you you might be like um serious or there is lack of you know um flirtatious energy between you and your person right now maybe your person um, needs to bring more playfulness, needs to open up the lines of communication, needs to be, um, you know, more um, just like kind of bring a little bit of laughter and happiness in the connection. So um, I feel your person might be a little, um, you know, a little bit of a serious mood right now. Okay, that, that playful energy is lacking in your connection. And then we have sexual union. Wow. Honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul. For there you will find true bliss. Okay. So definitely for some of you I feel you're in you're in a spiritual connection where um you know you're you're just kind of spiritually connected with each other and your sacral chakras are also activated, you know, because it's such a powerful and deep connection that you're you have with this person, right? And I feel there is a lot of um, sexual chemistry, attraction between the two of you. Your person might be feeling right now super attracted to you. The chemistry is insane between the two of you. And they might be like, you know, their sacral chakra gets activated whenever they think about you, right? So, yeah, I feel um, <clears throat> right now I'm getting this energy that your person might just try to reach out to you. Maybe they're casually um, attracted to you. You know, they want to keep the lines of communication open right now. Uh, the physical part of of your connection the physical part of your connection might be very strong especially for your person you know your person is experiencing that and <clears throat> i feel that um it's 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 a very deep spiritual connection that you share with your person right um so right now i feel there is a lot of sexual chemistry that your person a lot of a lot of attraction that they they could be feeling for you okay all right so we'll see um the tarot what the tarot has to say <clears throat> okay please show me these person this person's uh, current thoughts and feelings see i told you page of wands so this person really is feeling playful their sexual attraction there is chemistry is insane you know just and i feel your person also you know might try to reach out to you if there has been no communication lately. Current thoughts and feelings of this person towards you, what's currently going on, what's happening in your connection. You can now book a person reading with me. Uh, if you're interested, the link is provided in the description box below. All right, what are this person's current thoughts and feelings towards you? what's currently going on in your connection what's happening what's going on in your person's mind their head space their heart space oops okay
we got the seven of wands and the empress yeah super duper attracted to you right but then i don't know they're they're kind of resisting this attraction right so it's a very powerful connection i feel your person is feeling uh, for you right now and they can literally feel this energy this aura right your your energy is just so powerful that your person you know no matter how much they try to they they are trying to resist any forward movement or any sort of you know um action towards you but then it's almost like they want to resist but it's it's impossible because you give you giving off such um different vibe you know that they just kind of they just cannot resist themselves okay then we have the magician um three of cups union reunion card and then five of pentacles all right so um for some of you i feel that it's there's definitely a lot of manifestation going on here especially when it comes to your person i feel that you know um they do want to reach out to you they do want to like want to meet you in person they want to you know have a reunion with you they want to go out they want to celebrate but then there's also this um energy that i'm getting here of just being friends you know friends with benefits um so your your person here i feel that they are super attracted to and, and especially this the you know the physical part like i i talked about earlier physical chemistry the physical attraction uh, might be strong but then they only kind of see you as a friend the friendship element could be strong between you and your person and um right now i feel that there is a lot of um um you know some somebody here is feeling ghosted somebody has been ghosted by the other person i feel this could be your person's energy um they are right now kind of feeling rejected and could be feeling lonely as well you know they're going through this this rough rough phase in their life they're like um they're just kind of left out in the cold all alone and you know they i, I feel your person kind of lacks that warmth and comfort um that they're really looking for in a deep uh, a deep relationship okay and i feel that um you know somehow they are still searching for that home uh where they can you know a place where they can feel um like you know they're they're at home with somebody they can you know um just spend the rest of their life with so a person kind of lacks that um feeling or they're still kind of searching for that kind of a relationship where you know they feel at home right but on the more practical level i feel that it your person right now is feeling rejected and ghosted and i feel they're you know i feel you also are um somewhat you know standing your ground you are not like you're not you are not putting your foot down i mean you're not um taking any action towards this person you are standing your ground you have put your foot down and you were like you know what you have to rise up to my level you have to raise your standard and i'm not going to do anything now all right so you've taken your power back you like you being this empress but then uh, i also feel that there is some sort of a new beginning that's on its way and your person could be manifesting you okay they could be manifesting a meet up they could be manifesting or really planning about um like how to get you back in their life because they right now are feeling lost they don't know like how to go forward they don't know what to do about it because you have maybe for some of you you have blocked your person right so they are kind of you know feeling hopeless bottom of the deck we have judgment so um yeah it's it's a big you know a huge decision that has to be made here and your person i feel it's it's all about surrender your person needs to just kind of surrender to the higher force you know they just have to kind of um i mean something has been shown to your person some sort of a truth epiphany has been revealed and they know and they can feel that this is a very strong connection that they have with you right and it's all about surrendering to the higher power which i feel your person has a little bit little bit of difficulty doing that with the judgment card here you could be dealing with a scorpio you could be dealing with a taurus libra gemini virgo right yeah see we have the moon so i feel um 
whatever was hidden before i mean yeah look at these these are like four major arcanas the star card the tower the moon and the judgment so huge changes happening in your connection huge changes your person whatever had been you know hidden before it's being revealed to your person here things are coming up on the surface and it's almost like there are like huge huge changes happening um in your person's life in your life you know um in your lives individually and then those changes are going to be reflected on your relationship eventually but then it's all about surrendering because you know these changes sometimes are uh, unexpected and you it's like you know you there there is so much of uncertainty that you kind of get scared you get anxious it's but it's but these fears are all in your mind you have to overcome these fears you have to overcome these this anxiety uh, or whatever this shadow side is because something beautiful uh, is being shown to you something beautiful is being revealed to your person here right and um for some of you i feel your person is kind of also could be dreaming about um about you about your connection right so there there is a lot of um maybe you know telepathy going on but then you know i i i also feel with the moon card here your person right now is feeling quite tense and anxious about whatever is happening with them because it's it's like i'm getting this heavy energy they right now uh, they need to bring a little bit of playfulness in 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 their life because these changes are difficult for your person to deal with you know some sort of a tower moment has happened between you and them something has been definitely revealed to your person some sort of a truth some shocking moment you know where your person kind of suddenly realizes that oh my god this is it so that this is this is what our connection is all about right so your person uh, it's it's all about making a decision here you could be dealing with a scorpio you could be dealing with a pisces or somebody uh, someone with strong aquarius in their chart right but then i feel that um with the judgment the star the moon card definitely a lot of dreaming going on for your person like i said before some sort of sign synchronicities um are being shown divine messages are being sent to your person they are being they are being you know guided towards their higher self right this is not a not a normal connection definitely uh, your person is realizing that you both are you know this is a destined connection you both were meant to cross each other's paths and they are quite hopeful about it they haven't given up hope yet right your person really really sees you as their wish fulfillment some something that you know someone that they had manifested but then their own fears their their ego you know and their anxiety their shadow side is all showing up in this connection so um it's it's kind of taking them a, a long time to um realize like whatever is happening but then i also see that you know a lot of manifestation is going on your person definitely is looking forward to a reunion they're going to get back to you they're going to you know open up the lines of communication they're going to send you a message but right now i feel your person could be feeling left out and lonely you know ghosted by you they're feeling rejected and you on the other hand you're kind of you know standing your ground okay what else do we need to know here please clarify this reading what else is going on page of cups yeah definitely a person is going to reach out to you um they are coming towards you with some sort of an emotional news message we have king of swords seven of pentacles ace of wands and nine of wands bottom of the deck we have justice 
yeah so yeah i mean it's all about you know making that decision because i feel that it's it's like it's a huge decision for your person right now i mean it's it's all about being fair and you know um really making that fair decision or just trying to you know ba- you know get that balance you know to have that balance in your connection because i think that balance was kind of missing earlier you could definitely be dealing with a libra right and your person knows that you know things were not in balance in your relationship you could be the one who was just kind of giving your 100% in the relationship and your person was not right and this they have seen they have realized your person has realized this and then you also kind of took your power back and now your person is kind of seeing the truth you know there is a lot of clarity uh, your person is realizing a lot of truth they know that they haven't been fair to you in this connection right uh, you being the one who was kind of um, being the nurturer you know you cared for them you gave them love you gave them your 100% you know everything to this relationship to this connection but then this person your person here they they didn't do that they didn't reciprocate that love they didn't reciprocate your feelings and now you have taken your power back and this person is realizing what they've lost all right and now i feel that the, your person they definitely um want to reach out to you with some sort of an emotional message here right but it could all be about dreaming you know your person likes to dream they like to fantasize and not necessarily take any action towards you right because i feel with the king of swords energy your person definitely has uh, you know they have control issues right this person is some somebody um the king of swords who likes to hold back they're they're cautious when it comes to being vulnerable they're cautious when it comes to investing themselves emotionally in a connection because this person king of swords energy is some some somebody who's emotionally unavailable so i feel that your person has realized the fact that you know i caused an imbalance in the relationship she was like giving me or i mean you know he whatever it's it's all about um, the energies right so the other person was the one um giving it all but then this person here was not because this king of swords energy is emotionally unavailable <clears throat> right so this is somebody who was acting cautiously who acted like they didn't you know they didn't they didn't even care about what was going on or how much you were giving to this person right all they did was take from you causing an imbalance but now your person again they they have realized a lot of things there has been a lot of epiphanies um and a lot of realizations that your person is kind of going through right now with the tower the moon and the judgment but now you you know and now they are being patient right with the seven of pentacles it's all about um your person is kind of analyzing and evaluating a lot of things and probably a lot of their mistakes as well like where they went wrong why did they kind of hold themselves back right and i feel that they're doing a lot of manifestation um your person here they're trying to you know um they're manifesting you back in their life that's what they're doing right and for some of you i feel you could also be expecting like you could also expect a message from your person you you can also receive a message you know it's it's going to be like uh, out of the blue but then your person is definitely um at least thinking of texting you and reaching you out you know and getting back together like because i see ace of wands there is a new beginning you know with the magician and the ace of wands your person is definitely manifesting a new beginning with you and i feel for some of you they're going to really want to like meet you face to face and sort of uh, sort uh, sort out a lot of things between you and them right but then somebody here is definitely guarded and wounded i feel that this could be your energy as well because some it's the same energy that was left out in the cold that 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 was ghosted you know it could be your energy it could be your person's energy but i feel one of you um was ghosted by the other person and the one uh who who is like you know who's feeling lonely this person is really really guarded they have their guards up this nine of wands energy they're hurt this is somebody who's like very cautious suspicious of whatever has been going on right this person is exhausted this could be your energy as well i mean i don't know just take um, however it resonates but then again like i said one of you was just kind of giving it giving your 100% to the relationship and then it didn't work out 
and then again you were left rejected and left out in the cold you were ignored by a person and now you are like drained out you're like you know you've taken your power back you're like okay i'm done let this person go to hell okay but then i see now your person is realizing oh my god what i've done you know i ha i have i haven't been fair to this person here and um you know it's 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 like i have to really need to make a decision so your person is doing a lot of thinking right now and in fact manifesting you manifesting a meetup with you and there's going to be a new start that's coming your way and of course your person is definitely very much sexually attracted to you with the empress card there um but again you know if you want them back in your life just be careful because i feel this person really needs to do their work you know inner work because this person still um is emotionally unavailable right but i do see them um, they still haven't given up hope on you on this connection but then um, will they surrender that's the question okay and i'm gonna end this reading here so let me know in the comments below if it resonated or not and please do like share and subscribe to my channel i'll see you on your next energy update thank you so much for watching